Welcome to Packard Academy. My name is Jake. I'm the technical refrigeration specialist here at Packard. Today's lesson we'll be discussing our ESP product line that we just launched. We're adding it to our inventory. So we just have a couple products to go over today with you guys. So for our first product here, we got the Rhino Tank Compressor Tote. We use it for nitrogen tanks majority of the time. It's just an easy handheld tool device that you can use to carry your tanks, keep it off your hip. Next you have the Easy Levelers, standard little foot pegs that you use, adjustable for furnaces or, and or any other equipment in crawl space attics, uneven surfaces, real handy, comes in handy, keeps you from carrying extra spacers and such. Then you have your Teflon O-ring kit, so it's just an assortment of O-rings, plastic O-rings to help seal the system up in uh, applications where you lose or drop or damage one that's already in place. Then you also have the gasket book. Same deal here, it's just an assortment, no specific size. They are useful for your furnaces, 90 percenters, majority of the time have a lot of gaskets, but also in air handlers and such, or any opening that's in a cabinet of your air handler, furnace, coil, whichever product you're ta taking care of. You also have the old switcheroo, which is a door switch. It relieves and presses in your door switch with a magnet, a magnet on the back and it keeps you from having to tape off that door switch, allows you to open up your furnace and or air handler and work on it while the system is functioning and running. This is your pin extractor, most common for your Molex plug. So this device right here leaves the actual pin and allows you to pull the wire out the back without damaging the actual plug itself. A pretty handy tool. Next is our CO2 gun, and this just allows you to take your average CO2 tanks you pop it inside this canister right here. It gets an extended hose, that way you can relieve pressure, clogs, build up, and drain lines for condensation on your evaporators. It's a pretty useful tool. So, next you have a universal humidifier solenoid. It replaces 99% of all solenoid valves. It's just the solenoid itself, okay, with two quarter inch connections compression fittings on each side, 24 volt, two wire connection, pretty standard, common in the industry. Next you have the humidifier solenoid 24 volt kit. So this comes with an assortment. Uh, you have filters, different size ports from quarter inch to looks like three eighths, and a hose adapter as well. So it's just a full kit as opposed to just a solenoid valve by itself. Next we move on to the little poppers. These are another good product by ESP. They're used to, they come in different sizes, first of all, they got 3 amp, 5 amp. You have a 3 amp fuse in your furnace generally, sometimes 5. Instead of worrying about popping these and replacing them on a regular basis, you can go in and run all the tests you need when trying to start up a unit and have a little popper in place of that. And this just allows you to reset the amp and the fuses right there on the spot as opposed to replacing a fuse like I mentioned before. And next we have the core gripper as they call it. So it's just a Schrader valve remover. So it's used to remove Schrader valves in most of your ports and it grabs and actually extracts. So a standard Schrader valve remover just grabs and pulls it out, but then it can fall. You can lose it in the dirt, in the crawl, wherever you're working. This pin extractor allows you to grab the Schrader with the button relieved on the bottom and actually remove it without it ever falling out of place. It grips onto it, it won't release until you push the button again. So it's just a pretty handy tool to have in your tool bag as well. And then last but not least is the hose. So this is a retractable hose and it just is replaces your standard 50 foot hose that is in your truck already. It takes less space, easy to carry around, real lightweight, has a shut off valve on it. Thank you for stopping by our Packard Academy. That wraps up our video today on the overview of ESP. Make sure to press that subscribe button and follow us for more tech tips and information coming up on new products. Thanks.